Hi everyone. It's kind of been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial. This is the makeup look I do when I'm filming and creating content. I feel like I always do a full face of makeup and it's so funny because when I leave the house to go anywhere, I literally just throw on foundation, blush, mascara, and lip gloss. That's it. My makeup is just all over the place, but when I'm literally staying at home and filming, it's perfect. Today, my skin is feeling very dry, so I'm going to add in a few extra step, like hydrating steps and extra glowiness. Let's get started. Start by prepping my skin with the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum. You see how instantly I have just like a natural glow? So for primer, I've been really loving the Rare Beauty primers, so I actually have two of them and I have the mist and I have the serum. Today, I kind of want to try this one. I love this one so much, I think I'm going to end up getting this in a full size. If you're not sure like if you're going to like a product or not, I highly recommend getting it in a travel size. For the summertime, I really love using a very light coverage glowy type of base. I have been obsessed with the It's Cosmetic CC Cream. This is in the shade Tan and this is the greatest thing. Like the greatest foundation, CC cream, BB cream, whatever you want to call it, I have ever used on my skin. It not only covers like my stubborn marks and pimples and stuff, but it hydrates my skin, it gives me a very nice healthy glow, and it has sunscreen in it, which is a total must for the summertime. It's also buildable, so I really like that. Okay, this is one step that I recently kind of added into my routine, um, but it's concealer under my eyes. I don't need it. I feel like I just kind of want to brighten certain areas on my face. I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I'm using the shade Medium 90W. I don't know what that means. This blends so easily and literally just gives me such a flawless finish. I don't know. I'm looking pretty pale right now, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Okay, now I'm going to set all of this, and I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder. When I tell you this is the greatest setting powder I've ever used on my skin, I'm not even over exaggerating. If you have oily skin and you struggle with creasing and just looking like an oil pit at the end of the day, this right here is your best friend, your lifesaver, your everything. I'm so glad I decided to get this powder and invest in it because it is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. I feel like my face is airbrushed right now, so I'm gonna do like very light subtle eyeshadow and I am going to use the Tarte Tartlet palette and I'm using this shade right here it's called Sweetheart and I'm just gonna put that like all over my lid and my crease. I don't really do too much eyeshadow I try to keep it very simple. We can really tell it's very very light very subtle but next I'm going to do eyeliner and I'm using the Rare Beauty eyeliner this is my favorite eyeliner. It glides on so flawlessly and so smoothly. Okay, eyeliner is on. I'm going to do blush and I'm using the Rare Beauty liquid blush in the shade Happy. This is one of my favorite liquid blushes. I feel like this is everyone's favorite blush at the moment. If you couldn't tell, Rare Beauty is my favorite makeup brand. I'm gonna just do like three dots. I'm being very bold right now. It's summer and I want to glow. I usually use my beauty blender to do this, but I kind of realized that the beauty blender takes away the pigment, like it sucks up most of the product. So I would highly recommend either using your fingers to do this or like a makeup brush. I usually set the liquid blush with a powdered blush and one of my favorites is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. And I just like using very little and just tap it over that liquid blush now i usually skip contour because i feel like it's so unnecessary for me but since i'm doing a full face and a whole glam going on here i'm just going to do a little bit of contouring so i'm using the park avenue princess palette by tarte and this is like a sculpting palette and these are the shades. I usually 
use these three shades right here and I blend them all together to create like that perfect bronzy shade. I'm gonna tap this like into my my like cheekbone area, if that makes sense. Just like very lightly, like I don't want too much and then I'm gonna blend it out like afterwards. I'm using the wrong brush, like I literally don't know what I'm doing. My other like contour brush is dirty and I don't want to put that on my face. It's a little bit on my forehead because my forehead's looking a bit pale. I'm gonna create a shade for my nose. We all know I love contouring my nose. And I'm just gonna draw two lines down the sides of my nose and blending it up into my eyebrows. I didn't do my eyebrows. See, this is what happens when you have really good eyebrows. I don't, well, this is not working. I don't even need to do my eyebrows, but. So this is just me attempting to like contour my nose, which is like not really, doesn't really work for me, but I feel like if I don't put anything on my nose, it just looks bigger than normal. And even when I do put stuff on my nose, like there's not much of a change, but I literally can't win either way, so. Okay, for highlighter, I'm using the Rem Beauty Miss Mercury Highlighter, and the stuff is so blinding. It's, you need it. Do a little bit on the tip of my nose, like, what? Girl? Ugh. This is like the most blinding highlighter I own. And um, I'm gonna do a little bit on my inner corner to kind of pop a bit then i'm gonna do my eyebrows i've been using the nyx micro brow pencil this is in the shade ash brown i really like this eyebrow pencil it looks very natural i try not to do too much to my eyebrows because they are already so thick i just like kind of fill in any like sparse areas and then I fix the tail a bit because I have like a very weird eyebrow tail There's just like hair everywhere I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Mascara This is the greatest mascara ever The only mascara you'll ever need Not only gives me volume but it really lengthens my eyelashes as well this honestly is the reason I stopped using falsies. I never liked using them. And I don't do mascara on my bottom eyelashes because I get super oily and it just ends up stuck in my crease. Okay, my favorite thing in the entire world is faux freckles and I've been using this ColourPop freckle pen in the shade Soft Brown for like over two years now. It is the best freckle pen I've ever used. It is the only freckle pen I've ever used. I just do random little dots on my nose and like my cheek area and I just kind of like tap it in. One thing I love about freckle pens is if I have a pimple anywhere, I'll just freckle it in and you can tell that I have a pimple like I have a pimple right here so I'm just gonna put a freckle right there. Can you see it? So to finish off this look, my favorite lip combination is this Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner. This is in the shade Totally Toffee. And then I have two lip glosses that I like to use. Revlon Super Lustrous in the shade Rosy Future. I also have this Dior Shimmery Pink Lip Gloss in the shade Princess. This is like for a bronzy type of look. This is more like sparkly summary so i think i'm gonna go with this one for today i have not used this lip liner in months this used to be my go-to lip product for the fall so i basically just line my lips and then i fill it in just a little bit i'm going to top it off with the lip gloss this is such a pretty shade oh my gosh it just kind of plumps your lips a little bit and it has like that subtle shimmer to it Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair because I just washed it and it's been air drying this whole time and I'm gonna be back with the finished look. Okay, so I just did my hair. Um, I don't know if I like it or not, but the last step in my routine is this setting spray. It is the Dior Air Flash. 
It's a primer and setting spray. It's a long lasting. I love the spray. It literally looks like my skin is airbrushed. I usually don't use this when I'm using the powder, but since I'm gonna be filming all day today, I need to set everything. I literally went through hell to get this and it was worth it. This is my final and completed look. Yeah, that's it. And I really like it. It doesn't really look like a lot, but it took a lot. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little makeup tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!